Right now at 4, three men being questioned in the shooting death of an off-duty LAPD officer. What we've also learned about that officer and why he was in the neighborhood. And it was back to class today for hundreds of thousands of LAUSD students. Everyone, however, was required to have a COVID test before they could return, but the return today wasn't quite as smooth as hoped for. I, it's, it's no way to explain it. It almost feels like something from Game of Thrones. You see a dragon. A helicopter falls from the sky, crashing right in front of a church, but everyone survives. How a baby and three others on board managed to walk away. NBC4 News at 4 starts with breaking news. And we begin with that breaking news from South L.A., where three people are being questioned in the shooting death of an off-duty LAPD officer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Chuck Henry. Michael Brownlee is off today. NBC Force Ted Chen joins us live right now. Ted has more details on the investigation and the officer. Ted? Carolyn Chuck, our I team has learned that three men are being questioned in the death of 27 year old Fernando Arroyos, uh, and one of those men has a gunshot wound to the leg. Now, LAPD Chief Michael Moore says that Arroyos worked here out of LAPD's Olympic Station, and the department is in mourning. It appears that the target was a temper robbery. LAPD Chief Michael Moore describing the killing of 27-year-old LAPD officer Fernando Arroyos. Police say he was off duty in the neighborhood of Florence and Firestone last night looking for a house with his girlfriend when they were approached by a black pickup truck carrying three men. Police say there was an argument and detectives told NBC4 they believe two of the men pulled out guns and opened fire. The officer yelled for his girlfriend to leave, to run. 